Hello space lovers from around the universe, I am Miha and today we are warping into Riha, one of Saturn's moons, in my journey through Red Matter Remaster on PSVR 2. Red Matter, originally released in 2018, is now remastered for PSVR 2 with 4K texture, dynamic with rendering, 90fps with no reprojection. It's a free upgrade if you really have PSVR 1, PSVR 1 version or for 19.9 USD if you are buying it for the first time. So how does the remaster look like on PSVR 2? Let's jump in and see. Red Matter is a puzzle VR space adventure game set during alternative sci-fi Cold War timeline. You are Agent Epsilon, an astronaut of the Atlantic Union, you are dispatched on a mission to recover some secret documents from an enemy abandoned maze in Riha Saturn Moon. These documents are for a shady weird experiment that your enemies were running. You spend most of your time in Red Matter exploring and progressing through this complex abandoned maze. You use your scanner and your grabber to solve some very creative puzzles and to enjoy a very well written story. Solving puzzles in Red Matter is joy to enjoy, it's logical, it's creative and it's interesting. These puzzles will require you to sphere messages, think through mechanics and mechanism, search for objects. Majority of these puzzles are not hard, especially if you played Red Matter 2 first. But some are very challenging. The more you progress in the game, the more you get immersed in this unique handcrafted environment. The graphics are stunning and everything is so real, to the most tiny level of details. Nothing is neglected, every note, every object is extremely detailed. This kept a smile on my face when playing the game until the creepiness started to grow over my back. Suddenly, I realized I'm alone here, everyone is gone or killed and I started getting curious about what the hell happened here and what is really going on. Now let's speak about the comparison with Red Matter 2. So if you didn't play Red Matter 2 yet, then definitely start with Red Matter 1, at least from a story perspective. Indoors and the overall effects from your tools, the, puzzle, the puzzles mechanics, somehow the wizards and vertical robots managed to make them crisp and clear. I think Red Matter 2 is only slightly better looking indoors. But outdoors Red Matter 2 has the edge. Saturn in Red Matter 1 was more bright that I can even look at even when I pulled my PSVR 2 brightness setting as low as I can. This was a little bit disappointing to me but 99% of your gameplay time are indoors and indoors there is minimum difference. Also vertical robots managed to utilize all of PSVR 2 features from adaptive triggers, finger detection, headset trampling, controller haptics all this with a smooth gameplay, no reprojection, 4K texture made the game marvelous. When it comes to bugs, the one bug during my gameplay is sometimes one of my hands would disappear and if I get too close to a wall or something, or when I'm trying to plug in an object in a terminal, this would require me to restart from last save and this happened maybe 2 or 3 times, hopefully this can be fixed with day 1 patch. I really enjoyed my time in Red Matter, I just wish the game was a bit longer, it took me 2 hours to complete the game but they were great 2 hours. The Cold War settings in space are very interesting, the details are amazing, the graphics are stunning and the story is so good with a little bit touch of horror elements. All of my VR senses enjoyed every moment from start to end. Thank you for watching, if you like this video please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel to get immersed and updated on all things related to space in virtual reality. So until next time and may your trips to space be filled with wonders, joy and discovery as mine.